High School Jaranda. It's a great, great pleasure for me to introduce Nicole and Nacho. They are working with, uh, well, you are going to introduce later, um, they are working with teenagers a lot of years, and we have the honor to come with them in one of the most important projects for the network because there is an initiative with young people. So for us, it's very important. So um, in, uh, Nacho speak only a little of English. He's going to try to do. Yes, I will try <laughs> but. <laughs> but Nicole is, is uh, going to translate or whatever you want. I or? will try. Okay. I'm a Canadian who's out of practice because I speak Spanish all day long. <laughs> She's going to be my English teacher in the next month. <laughs> so I, I said I'm, we are going to have coffee from time to time and I'm going to take my Indiana Joan. <laughs> okay. And if she makes a mistake... So, the floor is yours, so... Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, welcome here to Ies Jaranda, in Spanish. Uh, my English level is <laughs> very, very dumb. Then I, I am going to, to, to have a, a Nicole. <laughs> she I'm the is, local slave. She, is my, she, she says that she is my uh, slave. slave. <laughs> yeah. I'm the gopher, like they see in Hollywood. The one that go for everything, has to fix everything. That's it. <laughs> and no pay. Well, uh, we are working uh, about uh, Charles V uh, many years ago. But in the last years, three years ago, uh, Next, uh, with the pandemic, we are, we are working more uh, intensamente, more <laughs> virtual, <laughs> virtual. Then uh, this is a, a photo when we uh, began with them in the uh, third llegada de Carlos V, no? the, the no. arrive of Charles mm -hmm. V. In, in November nineteen, uh, two thousand eighteen. 19. Well, yeah, th this is the, the scheme that we try to, to explain what we do. Uh, then, uh, for us, uh, cultural roots are an uh, opportunity to work around these uh, elements. Uh, elements that we try to, to Put uh, in play, put in juego. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this oh, is the plan. <laughs> well, uh, this is formal education. Uh, here we, we have uh, from 12 years old uh, to 18, uh, fundamentally, principally. Mainly. But we have uh, also uh, two. Uh, ciclos de grado medio, uh, uh, two, professional formation. Two uh, cycle of professional formation. Uh, one is kitchen, preparing young chef, and the second one is forestry people. We, we are working uh, uh, principally with uh, four first levels. Uh, first to uh, forge uh, education secundaria military. Yeah. Uh, they are mostly working with four, four years group. The first level, when they enter this regional high school, they come from various villages all around. And for four years, they work with us in an integrated program. Yes. The, perhaps the, the, the main uh, uh, thing that we are... Uh, doing here in this high school is the uh, intergenerational purpose uh, because uh, from 10 years ago uh, uh, we are working with all people uh, in one centro residencial, in a center of all people, yeah. residencia residence, uh, <laughs> I don't all know, folks yes. own. and uh, also here in the high school. Uh, three days in a week, uh, around 20, 25 uh, old people, persons, uh, come here to learn with us. With the okay, I will explain a little bit that. This high school is very unusual 
because they work totally with the local society. Uh, since almost 20 years ago, they go to the next village where there is a huge complex residential for all folks. Also, here in the village, three days a week, people, all retired citizens, come and study with the children. But not something special. If one day is uh, internet, internet. If the next day is uh, investigation, investigation. Totally, totally mixed in with the student. And those people are the ones that we also capture, I think is the word, uh, to work in the project of Charles V. Okay. Well, also, we have uh, social and cultural leaders. <laughs> Nicole is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Low pay, a lot of title. <laughs> Charles V, <laughs> usually. We also have the gentleman here. who played Charles V, who's today in Madrid, but usually come and work with the student. Yeah. And other associations, volunteers, and of course, public initiatives. Eh? Yeah. At the and, cover. <laughs> yeah. and all the local, uh, very active group. A uh, word that I don't like is housewife, <laughs> the local housewife association. La Ma de Casa, also all the local, the folklore group, everybody participates. Yes. Yeah, this is and the of course, Adikova, because they <laughs> gave the subsidies, <laughs> the grant, <Thank> you. <laughs> <laughs> money. <laughs> okay, uh, this is the, the, the three parts of, of what we want to, to say to you. Uh, our es educational experiences, what are we doing? Uh, in the last 10 years, uh, or institutional background, because in, in the intergenerational level, we, we have got uh, a lot of uh, result, results. 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 Uh, because uh, this experience uh, has got that the Junta de Extremadura, the most important the institution. The local of, autonomic government. Yes. Uh, Haya creado half uh, growth, <laughs> great, yeah. uh, a institutional program in all of the region. Uh, the, the name is the PX, uh, Intergenerational uh, inter 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 Program of Extremadura, yeah. and is the compromise, compromise, compromise of the Junta de Extremadura of the institution to work uh, to get a uh, uh, retos, the, the returns eh, around the international projects. After the, the Extremadura autonomic uh, region government is helping through Adicover, through, through the municipality, to really integrate all the activities, all the program, international, all folks to nursery, kindergarten to all integrate within one main product. Yes, and afterwards, our educational principles, uh, what are the pedagogic and methodologic principles that we are doing here in, in, this, in this high school to learn. Uh, no, no all of the teachers, <laughs> de <recadamente, laughs> but, yes. but uh, a, a part of the, of the teachers of this high school. Okay, we are going to 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 play the the, the film the the, the documental. Yeah. Comenta que es un documental ah. casero. Toma la calle primero. Toma la calle. Bon. First, you are going to see a short film, three minutes. It's the producer, real estate is Nacho. It's all homemade, but it describes a bit how this institute got involved with Charles V. How I came in, you will see me, more or less that size, full of cortisone. <laughs> and you will see the old people that come to class doing everything with the children. From, from researching the story, from making the costume, and even as actor, in the in the local production of the 
root of Carlos V. Quedo a la calle y a nuestra experiencia tomándola. Empecemos por el principio. Os presentamos a nuestras abuelas, las protagonistas de nuestros proyectos, en quienes trabajamos en el aula intergeneracional. Nosotros, 29 chicos de 14 y 15 años, oh, y en la que los mayores, <risa> trabajaremos unidos a través de la aprendizaje. Read and write and basic skill. Nacho offers them to come to here to the high school and they say, oh, no way. I think they thought it was like New York, the Bronx, the student with the knife or whatever. They, they thought it was dangerous. Other thought, oh, the students are going to laugh at us because I only went to school three years or two years. I used to work in the field. Uh, I had a very short education period. And they came at the beginning a little bit more with precaution, and now they love it. It's just one of them. Sí. Sí, the, the question is to, 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 remember, to break the negative stereotypes uh, around the age. Stereotype. No? Yeah. Aging. Yeah. Uh, then the, the stereotype is, is that, you know, old people don't want to be with younger people, and young people don't want to be with old people, yeah. and that's like, uh, really, all of them want to be together. <laughs> yeah. It's to destroy all those uh, separations that work in, uh, in the normal life. And as they say, the stereotype, old people want to be just with older people, the children want to be only with the children, they don't mix, they don't have anything in common, and we just prove it's, it's false. This is our first promotion, and after this one we have all... I, uh, exception COVID uh, time. Yeah, <laughs> the move. first promotion of the older student. And uh, because of COVID, of the pandemic, we were not able to do more because they only assisted a few weeks yes. and, uh, before the cut. She is 98 and 97. Filomena <laughs> is the oldest of the group. She is 98 and I look like an idiot beside her when she works with a computer, she is a, boy, a crack. She is wonderful. Uh, a lot of them, uh, is, uh, they were in the school only two or three years yeah. in their life. <laughs> they uh, apenas, uh, they don't Most know of them, writing, yeah, reading. Based, yeah, they, they are very limited skill because most of them have one or two or three years of schooling, formal schooling, yes? Ah, this year we have a man, the church sacristan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But as you, as you can see, when you ask for volunteer, always the woman say yes. 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 The here, man, yeah. Here, that's, that's the next. Here in way. Spain, to participate, to, to men participation is, 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 is <laughs> in this age. Eh? Yeah, in and this other age. <laughs> yeah. But this year we did something a bit um, for, the, for the roots, not this year because of the COVID, but the last normal one. We had couples because the woman we wanted to dress better. and they say, you better come or today you sleep with the dog. <laughs> Yes, so we had a lot of couples. We had 110 people from the village fully dressed as, uh, as villagers. Yeah, yes? I have another question about the two weeks uh, in which the students work in the summertime. In uh, at the camp. Yeah, at the camp. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering how did you sort out any insurance Ah, that you have to ask. Yes, yes. Uh, dice que para el campamento, ¿tú has entendido, no? Sí, Permiso de los padres yes, yes. y uh, seguros. Yes. No. In Italy, you know, managers of such uh, institutions tend to um, uh, be afraid of such uh, projects. Because if anything goes wrong, wrong. Yes. Yeah. you know, students uh, are like thought to be not competent enough because they were not prepared, they were not trained, yeah. they were not professionals, and they were supposed to not be allowed to yeah. do it. 
that's why the aspects of the yeah. life of elderly yeah. people. It, it's it's difficult, but it is not difficult. It's, it's <laughs> not impossible. Not impossible. But, but how did you do it? it because the, the, the problem isn't the insurance. Uh, insurance, insurance, insurance pff, more or less cover, cover this, this situation. We, we pay other, other more. Eh? Uh, this activity in the beginning uh, was paid for the residents, Servi Mayor is the, the institution. The no? residents but pay the cost. After, CEPAD uh, Sepat is the uh, care institution of Junta Estemador, the region, yeah. and they pay us. And CEPAD uh, is like a local ministry for the autonomic region who are in charge of old, uh, care for older people, social services, and they pay the cost of the full and, insurance. And the own residents is. Uh, tiene half uh, or sus propios, our own insurance. Then uh, that's and no problem. the complex, the residential complex, Servi Mayor, have their own yeah. the, then, complete okay. coverage that's, insurance. The, nor are, there's, there's no legal problem. There is no legal <laughs> the, the problem. The problem is the responsibility yeah. eh, of the teacher. Uh, my one, <laughs> yeah. the, the high, master of the uh, high school, the high master, well, the director of the residency, the the, 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 but only responsibility because uh, one week is the day, but the night, <laughs> yeah. the, the students are there in the, the camp, but <laughs> you, they have always to, uh, yeah. is... So you need to have people willing to take on the responsibility. Exactly. Yes. They have to be <laughs> a company <laughs> at all times. Yeah. You see, the teachers are all volunteer. It, they never leave the student alone. And the student never touch uh, all the residents by themselves. They are always accompanied by a professional. But, but yeah. not always. No, almost. Not always because there were uh, situations that uh, perhaps they are alone with uh, all people. Uh, sometimes. That's uh, no problem. <laughs> there is no problem, yeah. It all depends also um, by uh, the direction of the center is the main, and they are very receptive because they see that their residents are happy. The family of their residents are happy. Everybody benefits from it. So that's a very positive aspect. Uh, also in the university, we began other planes. Uh, in this case, in Badajoz, uh, do you know the city Badajoz? I don't know. It's the capital of the next province. Extremadura has two provinces, Caceres and Badajoz. And Badajoz, the capital, is the same name. It's the biggest city we have in the whole autonomic region. Yes. This one is in Plasencia, other city very near of here. Yeah. Van a ir a Plasencia a conocerlo. No. <laughs> We're not going to, to know Plasencia. You, you have to come back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I go with you and I show you the area. I know it after 30, 36 years here, I know everything, everybody. Yes, in Extremadura is the University of Seniors, yeah. the UMEX, U M E. Yeah. We have uh, throughout the whole territory. Uh, University of the Older Citizen of Extremadura. University, Mayor, Major, Older, Ex Extremadura. And they offer all sorts of courses online and presidential. This is Badajoz and Plasencia. This yeah. is Plasencia. They have uh, gardens, collective gardens. And the, the third question is the support, is the support of international programs. This uh, began here, or nació, this grow <laughs> here. No? In, All those programs started here for the whole region. Here uh, they are, como decimos, consejeros de sanidad. <laughs> yeah, the, the <laughs> health minister, health man, autonomic health minister. Are three politics, but Martin, is uh, the director of Sermi Mayor. <laughs> this is the director of the one with uh, glasses and the white hair, is the director of the residence. The other one is the Minister of Health for the region, a sort Education. of politician, and Nacho. 
Espera, me he ido ya. Esto. You see, there is something I observe since I, I started little by little to work here. Politician, if you provide a service and it works, and people are happy, it's votes. So they say, okay. The moment you do something a little bit, that's not so, they are not so happy. But since that thing, this program is so wonderful, and the results are so wonderful, even during the pandemic. The ch Nacho won't tell you, but I will, because it's something I love during the pandemic. A group of students who are working with us in those cultural things organize a telephone service. They all are the list of people who live alone, were totally isolated, and every day they call. How are you? Do you need something? Yeah. Sometimes they will talk three minutes and sometimes three hours. But it was absolutely wonderful to see them. It was very good. Okay, then they are going to, to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they are uh, students of the uh, four course of secondary, secondary course. But when they play these ah. these videos, they were for in the last year, no? Ah, bon, vale. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Haranda High School. We are pleased to have you here. We, start, uh, we started in third SO in the subject of entrepreneurship. The name of the project is Alavera de Carlos V and we developed some activities like eight videos to show life during the, during the time of Charles V. They deal with topics from the past relative to the present. We recorded the, the videos and uploaded them to our uh, YouTube channel because of the COVID-19, so it was suffer for everybody. We have the honor to record in La Vera, Jarandia de La Vera, Alda Nueva de La Vera, Guacos de Juste, an amazing area that you should visit. We think it is very important to take part in the service learning to have a good impact in our society. Vale. Uh, with this project, we felt so excited and happy uh, because we work in that and with a lot of effort. This video is of the Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 Oh, why I'm speaking Spanish. <laughs> uh, I have to explain something because yesterday some, somebody mentioned uh, something. Why a la vera de Carlos V? It's a play on word. La vera is the name of our region. But la vera is also the side of. If you walk with me, you're walking a mi vera. And this is why the play on word of the title of all those videos, by the side of Carlos Quinto, oh. not only by the Vera, the region. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, the one is La Muñeca? We saw the videos you have in the YouTube of the Rosa Chacha if you want to. You can see, you can discharge them and look at them. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> 
In this video, uh, we talk about of the prostitution. Prostitution. Prostitution, because it is a topic who was so delicate now and before. And then. Yeah. And then. And we. ¿Cómo se diría tratar? ¿Sí? ¿Cómo se diría tratar? We the, talk the about. The safe trade. We talk about the, uh, for that of the trading uh, of, ¿cómo se diría? The of trade. delicate form but with a special message with a spe I para realmente oh I'm mixing languages again um, the thing is uh, starting with Charles V in this region there was a, a huge lot of expression uh, norm and laws that were applied to Spain. If you wanted to have a bordel, a house of prostitution in a village, in order to difference it from the good people, you have to paint the front blue. In France, in France the prostitute used to have a red stocking. Here, they used to have on their petticoat an edge brownish color, picos pardos, which is now an expression used in Spain uh, commonly. If you have to have a good time, you go of picos pardos. Uh, also, the fact is that uh, they investigated the history of the prostitute. Most of them were not Spanish. They were sold just like now from other country. You have an Italian girl from Genova, an Armenian girl who was captured and sold by the Turkish pirates, and a young Jewish girl. So you will see, ah, and the people of Garganta La Hoya were so nice to us that they allow us, allow us to film inside the local historical house called the Doll House. You will see they have a, a stone a doll in the uh, in the front door. Okay. I know there is no subtitle, but I can tell you later. Hi, <laughs> buddy. As you can see, sometimes the topic is very heavy, like prostitution, and sometimes lighter, like fashion. But it's all something that they research. Everything that is in the text, they wrote themselves, and everything is 100% accurate. Well, that's all, Alicia. Vamos a then we are going to go up, yeah. upstairs. I'm also going to eat. I was invited to you. So if you have any question later on, I'm in, at your entire disposition. Only thank you and uh, molti complimenti. <laughs> grazie, grazie, molto bene. <laughs> <laughs> The genius behind all this is Nacho. So I'm just with Nicole because they have a little surprise for you. Okay? Yes. So we go up y, to y the... Vosotras también subimos arriba. They, they are uh, teachers of other schools, high schools and, and schools, schools. They have a project which is yes. called Muevete. And it is a good practice is exchange maybe yes, yeah. yes, yes, they come schools. and observe and they take note they are from different high school all over the province <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this is yeah. 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 Yeah.